Packers. So, um, so today we're talking about franchising. So let's we'll just back up and we'll get to do round two. Yeah. Um, and I was surprised to hear the statistic that eighty five percent of people don't know what Crazy. a franchise is. Yeah. Yeah. So, and you weren't surprised. No, that. I'm not surprised at all. I mean, even like my brother in laws, they'll come over and they're talking about businesses that I know are franchises mm-hmm. and they're, you know, complaining or whatever. And they're like, oh, I'm going to call corporate. I'm like, okay, it's not going to do any good. You've got to go to the local store. <laughs> yeah, they're absolutely. a franchise. Right. They, they right. don't Own know. And we do. We mm-hmm. get people for employment verification mm-hmm. and stores in yeah. Maryland or mm-hmm. Texas, and we don't. <laughs> we, we don't know any of that. Yeah. So, um, so really franchising is a business relationship. Um, it is a right granted by a business to use the mm-hmm. company's name, sell its products and services, and this is what a franchise is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and then um, we are talking a little bit because I, at holiday time, I was a little dismayed. I actually reached out to a friend of mine because she wrote, don't go to support small businesses. Don't go to chains or franchises. Yeah. And I private messaged her and said, hey, you know, most franchises are small in businesses. your community and locally mm-hmm. owned. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so that's, I think, really important for people to understand that usually your franchise is mm-hmm. our franchises are people that are in the community. Mm-hmm. And we well, just even t- some big names like McDonald's, Taco mm-hmm. Bell. I mean, these Subway. people, mm-hmm. yeah, Subway, they mm-hmm. live in your community. Yeah. Right. And there are area developments. So yeah. they might be in a, they might own eight or 10. But, I mean, for Subway, yeah. I think someone in like Saginaw, they own like the surrounding 50, but they still go. They're in yeah. Saginaw. That's their you know? location. Absolutely. So, yeah. So it's not just a big chain, you know, that yes, 50 or 100 themselves. It is you know, replicating mm-hmm. that effort. Yes. So, mm-hmm. and really, we just talked about a little bit about, you know, it really hit me when we were talking about it is that the, the, we support our local community yes. with our store mm-hmm. yeah. and then franchising is a really great way for us to replicate that mm-hmm. and help so many more communities instead mm-hmm. of us just being in Michigan and maybe owning stores in Texas and Indiana and everywhere when you really, you, then you're kind of in your manager, hopefully to be in right. your community. Yeah. But these are people that actually live there, go, their kids go to school there. Yeah. Yeah. Go to you your know. churches. Well, and it's great, too, because we get to help somebody um, create a successful business and they get to be an entrepreneur without having so much risk. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of and that is the hard thing on our part, because you're taking an entrepreneurial person yes. typically and saying, now follow rules. <laughs> <laughs> so you really have to have a trust relationship that they know, you know, what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. And uh, I mean, so, what do we always say when we when we bring a franchise in the first day? It's like going on a first date because it it's not just if you know we like them; it's if they like us. We have to be a good Same. fit for each Absolutely, other. Absolutely, yeah. do. And your communication and expectations have to be yeah. really clear. Mm-hmm. So there are actually three key elements mm-hmm. to be called a franchise. Okay, these Tell are me more. official. Okay. So one, the franchisor must grant limited rights to use the company's trade name, service logo, or other advertising symbol. Mm-hmm. Sure. Two, the franchisor must sell the rights to use systems or methods associated yeah. with operating the core business, and the franchisor receives a payment in return for these. So it's real. I mean, it's really pretty simple rules mm-hmm. for yeah. being classified. But it really did hit me when um, Houston was actually working with a private label, because we do private label coffee Mm -hmm. um, person in Texas. But then she's like, but what equipment do I need? What recipes? What? Mm -hmm. And it's like, no, 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 no. That's why you pay a franchise fee. Absolutely. And it really made me realize how much information someone gets. Right. For that franchise fee. Right. Because, well, can, I mean, we literally give you all the plans to a store and say, this is what you do. This right. is how you With run colors, it. colors, the equipment. Here's your marketing. Here's because it's a great social. idea to say, I want to, you know, own and run a coffee shop. But where do you start? Where do you get your coffee from? Where do you get your yeah. syrup from? Who comes up with the recipes? Well, your logo. You know? Let's start with lo- making sure logo and registration. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my gosh. So, basically, if you franchise and, you know, I'll just say with us. You're really coming in and you're getting a system that's already been built, developed, and proven. Well, and with that, I mean, you get our our social media, which is huge, our um, our content, which yes. we struggled with. You know, yeah. the influencers have honestly been invaluable helping create content so yes. you get access to 
you know, Absolutely. all the marketing that we do. Yes, yeah, marketing is huge. And going marketing. Like, yeah. I mean, really, if we were just, can you imagine our research and development, our and mm -hmm. a drinks and food for one store? No. And then trying to not only do that, but then source all the ingredients no. and then cost it all out and no. get things effectively. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it'd be a lot. It'd be a lot. <laughs> yeah. So. Luckily, you have us. <laughs> so kind of what you guys were saying, the number of benefits to franchising, you know, independence with guidance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you do have, depending on the franchise, I mean, some franchises like um, McDonald's are are very, very strict on mm -hmm. their standards, mm -hmm. you know, and it, and it just depends on the franchise. Like we believe more that people are in the community and they should have a little more say. There's regional differences mm -hmm. for menu choices. Obviously, Absolutely. pricing is something that they need to determine in their market. So it can um, change some chick. Well, what did we remember? The caramel apple, which we love caramel apple yes, in yeah. the Midwest. And in Texas, they're like, what is this? <laughs> Nobody is going to drink caramel. So oh, yeah. Out east, in Arizona, said, what, what is this? Yeah. 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 So what is this? definitely more? learned about some regional differences, yeah. though it doesn't make sense for the Texas store to carry the caramel apple. But, but it did okay. make sense yeah. for what? Kalachi. Kalachis in Texas. We learned what those oh, yeah. are. Those are mm -hmm. like those little sausage so rolls. Mm. They were good. Wish I was in Texas right now. So but, I <laughs> got a little bit of freedom. When then Chick fil A was fascinating, their model. Like, you, yeah. can, you don't buy us, you don't franchise them. You're mm -hmm. really. Um, and nothing you're wrong like with them. Manager. Trust me, I sit in their lines. Yeah. Um, but you're really like a manager, and yeah. then their fees come off the top, yeah. and um, it's just a very different well, profile. I can't remember what it was like harder to get a Chick Fil A franchise than to get into like the Harvard, Harvard or something. Yeah, like law school. Yeah, it was crazy. Don't they have like something like sixty thousand applicants a year? And they choose like five or yeah. something crazy. Yeah, and then you're really. I'm from Texas. Manager. I love caramel apple. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, we love our caramel apples so and then obviously it's just it's less risky you've got people behind you um you've got so much research and development mm -hmm. and proven things to help Absolutely. you can ask for help i mean here we've got yeah, not everybody has an in-house marketing team, but we yeah. do have an in-house marketing and operations team. Yeah, store development. Yeah. And not only that, the coolest mm -hmm. part of our franchise is we actually manufacture our own product. Oh, like, that's we make huge. the coffee. Yeah. So we get to make sure the quality from top to bottom is perfect. Which is so different yes. than most people. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I love that about us because I think it makes mm -hmm. us more nimble, too. We're mm -hmm. not relying on going to another company right. and then going through marketing strategies. Right. And we can change it and decide, right. you know what? We love white. <laughs> chocolate strawberry let's start making yeah we it. don't have to wait for eight <laughs> months when caitlin tells us i really want what you're <laughs> yeah. like cool let's make it happen yeah. yeah enough people got on that bandwagon we made it happen. absolutely so <laughs> um yeah so that's a really neat and then mm -hmm. buying power obviously buying stuff together yeah. we have ingredients that you couldn't i mean a single store can't go get right well it though. wouldn't be affordable well, we have no. special formulations yes. for some of our ingredients yes. that you couldn't do as a single. Mm -hmm. Well, and there's, there's a really cool aspect to franchising. Um, our franchisees become not only our family, but mm -hmm. kind of each other's family. So That's they true. have a unique network to reach out to each other and be like, mm -hmm. hey, what's working for you or what, right. you know, mm -hmm. kind of a unique family network that yeah. you're just, you're not mm -hmm. floating, even with corporate, you know, you don't have to contact us. You can contact a different franchisee. Absolutely. Well, and then we see that. I mean, I love when we have our um, conventions, conventions or our mm -hmm. trips and seeing the franchisees all uh, get together. And yes. because we have really cool, fun <laughs> franchisees, fun. it's always a great time. Yes. yes. We've had some pretty <laughs> epic experiences. We've even had retired franchisees come on convention because they love it so yeah, yeah. i think that's when they leave there i was like but could we come <laughs> can we come back for a we've had some pretty epic conventions though to be fair yeah we yeah. throw good parties that's true we do mm -hmm. um and you know i think about you know just how many times somebody comes and brings a new product to us mm -hmm. or a new uh, well, victoria i mean her drink this oh, month is oh, the yeah, yeah. what is it white chocolate covered strawberry chocolate covered strawberry, chocolate yeah. covered strawberry mm -hmm. lattes and mm -hmm. wraps yeah and that came from um victoria it's an amazing drink. amazing yeah. and mm -hmm. that's why we kind of say if everybody brings one good idea to the table mm -hmm. and we and Everybody gets these wonderful We're ideas. We're so much stronger as an organization. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we love feedback. So, yeah. yeah. Right. Awesome. Yeah. We don't know everything. We <laughs> really like the feedback 
from and especially with the regional differences and things yeah. mm-hmm. to hear how things are re, you know resounding yeah. to different markets you call it feet on the street mm-hmm. so so franchising is is not like we don't we don't um hire we don't even tell people who to hire i mean we've got guidelines and best practices and standards Absolutely. but it's like you're a business person, so you're running your own business, you're making your own marketing decisions, mm-hmm. you're making your own, you put together your team. Yes. We do have core values here as a company that we try to um, pick franchisees that embody those core values, um, but then they pick and build their teams. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we don't have any say in that. When we come to training, we might um, have some input into that. But, yeah, well, mm-hmm. I mean, we can give advice where advice is due. You know, mm-hmm. we've been through the trials and tribulations. <laughs> we we can see some Once red flags yeah. here and there. But yeah. it is, attitude is huge with us. So, like, positive attitude. Well, what are our take... core values? I mean, our core values are pretty precious to us. We took a long time really curating mm-hmm. them. And we had to actually sit in a room of our leaders and vote whether everybody had these core values, <laughs> which is a little intimidating. Yeah. Because yeah. we started with seven, I'll be honest. <laughs> it went to four. Because we need to embody these the good news is you passed <laughs> well, and our, so our core values just so you know uh number one is positive attitude mm-hmm. yeah and yeah. even in a store this resonates i mean if you if you hire someone with a positive attitude it will you can train skill but it might take a little longer so you can't yeah. get as frustrated but a positive so, attitude yeah. means they won't get as frustrated you can't train <laughs> attitude no yeah. number two is team player mm-hmm. And we're all in this together, and especially during COVID, I think that really brought that front and center. Yeah, yeah. for sure. How much we are. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, we'll work overnights. We get, we do whatever it yeah. takes to get it done. When you see Lori on your cards when you order, I packed your card. <laughs> or Brandon, or, or Patty. Patty. Yeah. Patty. If you can read it. Well, I, they usually it. Yeah. I pack and they ship. So. <laughs> Alicia calls us and she's like, the web's crazy. And we're like, we'll be right there. We're Monday mornings, <laughs> yeah, catching yeah. up on the weekends. Mm-hmm. But um, Number three is outstanding customers customer service yes and that's really important to us and janelle here our customer does a great job mm-hmm. yeah. um so well, but that's in our stores with our franchisees with our customers mm-hmm. yeah i mean when you know even our truck drivers deliver our orders we want them we want coffee beanery to be the best stuff of their day yes mm-hmm. you know yeah well, we try, we try it. and then when we go, just wait. We have fifty more packages. Can you wait? UPS 10 loves us. Thank you, Clayton. <laughs> yes, thank you, Clayton. Um, and then the last one's continual improvement, mm-hmm. and that's big to us. And mm-hmm. um, I think that's changed our culture dramatically. Absolutely, it's yeah. always just little changes can mm-hmm. make big impact. Yeah. And they just add up so quickly little changes well i mean every time we hire somebody even here in the office we we're like hey fresh eyes if you see something Mm -hmm. you know that can be better or improved let us know and sometimes we've tried it and we can give you the reasons why it didn't work but sometimes it's like oh my gosh why have we been doing well, everybody in production yeah. distribution i mean mm-hmm. i love that everybody always is like hey have you tried this yeah. or well remember mm-hmm. the silliest thing we used to pack our coffee on the shelf in these tiny boxes six bags to a box and finally somebody went why do you do that <laughs> and so we put 20 in a box and we're like oh this makes so, so much more easier <laughs> everybody liked it better we've right? done it so long yeah it is yeah. like that ham thing like they always cut oh, their, yeah. their ham or something in half and the turkey and was it the turkey tur- was it and then know. finally they said why do we do this like does it taste better or something yeah. she said no grandma didn't have a pan big enough <laughs> so she was cut a choice. third of the ham off so that's why it happened but sometimes we do that just because yeah and that's i'm gonna segue into quick again so that's why some of the name changes oh Um, yeah we really i mean after 40 years we just have to and i know it's so generally generational Mm -hmm. and people have been buying these copies some for 20 30 years yes but we just had we just had to make some updates. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good for us for SEO ranking too. It'll come up higher, you know, search when you search engine it. Optimism. Search engine. Um, but you know, it's definitely time to get some fresh new flavors. And I'm sure in the video the girls did the other day, we promised the formulas are not changing. No, they're not changing. <laughs> yeah. And we also need Patty to stop giggling when she's typing descriptions. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> this is Patty's dream to change some of these. I've been working on this for like 14 years. I swear to God. So. Oh, God. 
out my way. <laughs> but I think, like, when I think about Sinful Sunday, what does that even mean? Do you know what right? I mean? Do you guys remember the year that we picked that as the coffee of the month and it was Easter? I do remember. And somebody messaged us and said, you're doing Sinful Sunday and Easter Sunday. And we went, oh, my God, did we really just Rousey do that? Frosted carrot cake got changed really quick to Frosted carrot cake. Frosted carrot cake is the new flavor of the month. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> and so we love feedback. So even any feedback on packaging or, or flavors or anything, we always love feedback from our customers, yeah. from our franchisees. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, I mean, anything that get you well, yeah. And I mean, if our core values resonate with you and you're interested in learning more, even if you just want to know more about franchising, what it is, not yeah. necessarily with us, we'd love to talk with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. it can be confusing. And yeah. so, you know, as a customer too, when you go to a store, we do obviously want to hear if you, especially if you have a negative experience yeah. or a positive experience um, because we do reach out to the franchisee we talk about them that's part of mm -hmm. our review that we have with them as their positive yeah. and negative so I love hearing you know Raina store and that oh my gosh she has so much positive and great customers well, so. it's fun too when we get positive comments we actually put them out to the whole you know franchisee community in the weekly update they kind of get a nice little shout out yeah. and I think mm -hmm. especially in this environment it's so nice to hear some yeah. of those positive Mm -hmm. as well so there's so many of our franchisees that are like the coffee person in their community that really embodies what it yeah. is to be a part of their community so, so we're not like oh you know we don't care what we care very greatly what happens in our store and obviously mm -hmm. we want those communications as yes. well mm -hmm. i just can't i can't give you employment very quickly <laughs> <laughs> yeah or, we are not their employer. But obviously, yeah. everybody should be making the drinks the same way. We've got very mm -hmm. clear brand standards. Mm -hmm. um, and training. Yeah. 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 And we do a lot to ensure those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's to protect the other stores. Absolutely. I mean, you know our one nightmare that we went to. <laughs> <laughs> we were in Texas. No, I should say we were in Texas. It was a long time ago. But we did go to one store, and then we visited other stores, and they are like, we keep hearing these negative about this one store. Mm -hmm. And we ended up closing it down. We went yes. back four days later, and Texas is a long state We drove back over, over a thousand well, miles. Mile. We gave them a checklist, and we said this needs to be done by the time we get back. Yeah. Not a single thing. And it was, was egregious. Changed. It was yeah. dumb. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. egregious. Uh, 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 um, but it was negatively affecting the, the other store. store. Right, right. So and we don't want that. It's important no. to protect our franchise community. Right. Yeah, absolutely. We take that very seriously. So mm -hmm. hopefully you found out a little bit more about franchising, what it is mm -hmm. and what it isn't, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Um, and like Britton said, if you're interested in information on our franchise, we're happy to give it to you. Um, we're really excited. And in about a month, I think we're going to have a really fun franchising update. Yes, I'm excited. I've been working on this for probably six or seven years, so yeah, it's time. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. Like it. so, it's time, yeah. So, but thank you all for um, tuning in. Tuning in, and <laughs> um, now it. that we have sound, so sorry, sorry <laughs> for the miming that we were thinking for the first and five minutes. for sticking with us through it. Yeah. For sure. We're watching our mouth so, now. Yes. <laughs> so everybody have a wonderful day.